Sasha Sagan, for small creatures such as we, rituals for finding meaning in our unlikely world. In the book, For Small Creatures Such As We, Sasha Sagan unravels how rituals and traditions shape our lives and give a sense of meaning to our brief existence on Earth. Delving into the diverse rituals that accompany birth, marriage, death, and everything in between, Sagan demonstrates that despite our cultural, religious, or scientific differences, ultimately, we are all connected through our shared humanity. Unveiling the power and significance of rituals in a secular context. The book encapsulates the ways in which we can create our own meaningful rituals and traditions to celebrate life's milestones. Embracing Life's Unique Miracles The birth of a newborn child is nothing short of a miracle, considering the incredible odds and coincidences that have occurred throughout human history and the universe's vast timeline. Our very existence on Earth echoes the significance of every individual's impact against the cosmic backdrop. Acknowledging this, countless traditions and rituals honor the unique significance of each new life and create connections to those who came before us and those yet to be born. In an ever-changing world, there is boundless potential for us to establish personalized rituals that cherish the unmatched and miraculous journey that life offers. Sometimes, it's easy to forget the true magnitude of our existence. Every human life begins as a small bundle, living an ephemeral moment compared to the universe's 13.8 billion year existence. The intricate path that led to our very presence here has navigated through millions of specific encounters, moments, and decisions involving our ancestors that stretch across an estimated 7,500 generations. Even more astonishing, our existence is shaped by a complex interplay of chance and circumstance. Sasha Sagan, the author, provides the example of her own grandparents, whose serendipitous meeting on the E-train in New York City influenced the lives of generations to come. The gravity of these moments exemplifies the unique magic encompassed in every individual. Understandably, civilizations have established rituals to welcome new lives and showcase their significance to the world. Practices such as baptisms, naming days, or the Chinese custom of hosting a feast for a 100-day-old baby exist to celebrate the defiance of early death and the entrance of a unique soul into our lives. Communities across the globe, including Jamaica and the Balkans, embrace the miracle of life with tree-planting ceremonies, establishing roots that connect both past and future generations. In this dynamic world, there's ample room to create our own rituals, be it intimate, like reading a poem to our children, or elaborate, like hosting grand celebrations. By partaking in these acts, we not only honor the extraordinary story of our existence but also cultivate a legacy of love and continuity for the next generations of miraculous lives. Uncovering Life's Rituals Even without religious practices, rituals are present in our lives, providing comfort and a sense of community. Daily and weekly routines, like enjoying a cup of coffee or connecting with loved ones, bring structure and reassurance. Expanding our rituals to friends and communities can create stronger bonds, fostering support and connection with those around us. Many individuals who don't participate in religious practices might believe that their lives lack rituals. However, upon closer examination, one might find that they participate in activities that bring community and comfort. For example, meeting for drinks with colleagues, attending recurring gym classes, or engaging in regular volunteering efforts all serve as rituals that allow a deeper connection to those around us. These regular rituals give our lives a sense of routine and comfort, helping us navigate through the uncertainties of life. Simple daily rituals can provide a sense of grounding and wonder, such as reflecting on the journey of a cup of coffee from its origins to being served by a loved one. This practice creates an emotional connection between the individual and their surroundings, enhancing their relationship with others. Weekly rituals also play a significant role in reinforcing bonds, striking a balance between frequency and importance. Whether religious or not, creating a personalized ritual can bring stability and joy. For example, after receiving advice from a taxi driver about the importance of playfulness in a relationship, one couple sings the alphabet song each weekend, reflecting on their love and commitment. 
rituals need not be limited to families, they can extend to friends and the larger community. Seeking to foster the sense of belonging and support found in religious congregations, one woman established a monthly ladies' dining society in New York City. This event grew to include friends of friends and expanded to other cities, demonstrating the power of rituals in creating strong, interconnected communities. Seasons shape our celebrations. Earth's 23.4 degree tilted axis provides us with our distinct seasons, which in turn, have influenced the origin and evolution of various religious and cultural celebrations around the world. Ranging from celebrations of rebirth and fertility in spring, rituals for the dead in fall, to festivities of hope and the return of warmth in winter, our planet's orbital journey has profoundly impacted human customs and traditions across cultures and faiths. An angle as small as 23.4 degrees might not seem like much, but this is the tilt of Earth's axis that gifts us our annual seasons. The shifting distance between the Sun and each hemisphere during Earth's orbit creates the familiar temperature changes we experience. This planetary journey has woven a profound influence on human customs and traditions, molding many religious and cultural festivities. Spring, the season known for resurrecting life after the cold grip of winter, hosts celebrations like Easter, Passover, and Kanamur Matsuri, Japan's festival of the steel phallus. Examining these festivals reveals their shared theme of rebirth and fertility. Although these celebrations stem from different origins and stories, they all share a link with the renewal brought by the season of spring. Conversely, the arrival of fall comes with diminishing days and a harbinger of the impending winter. It's during this time that numerous cultures honor the dead with rituals and ceremonies. The notion can be traced back to the Iron Age Celts who established Samhain, a feast to commemorate their deceased, by observing the movement of a star cluster. Today, this tradition lives on in various forms, such as Catholic All Souls Day, Mexican Dia de los Muertos, or the global phenomenon of Halloween. Through these customs, people confront and even trivialize their fear of death. Long after the last leaves have fallen, winter solstice marks the darkest and longest night of the year. Following this, the days begin to lengthen once again, leading to spring. This is when people illuminate their homes with Christmas lights, light their Jewish menorah candles, and set punja bonfires ablaze. These festivities, embracing diverse faiths and cultures, celebrate the end of winter as an expression of hope, hope that doesn't rely on any divine figure but rather on the natural patterns inherent in the orbit of our very own planet. The Power of Apologies All humans inevitably make mistakes and feel guilt, which serves an evolutionary purpose. Throughout history and various cultures, rituals for atoning for sins have emerged, illustrating the importance of taking responsibility for our mistakes, unburdening ourselves, and growing as individuals. Contemporary methods such as therapy and addiction recovery programs showcase the power of confession and making amends. Embracing the courage to apologize repairs relationships and eases the burden of guilt. We all make mistakes, regardless of our belief systems, and these mistakes often lead to guilt. Though guilt might be viewed as a moral concept, it serves an essential evolutionary function. Without guilt, we wouldn't address our misunderstandings with others, whose support is crucial for our survival. Numerous atonement rituals exist across different cultures and belief systems, highlighting the need to take responsibility for our mistakes to unburden ourselves and grow as people. Catholics confess their sins, Jews apologize during Yom Kippur, and Hindus perform penance during Prayasiddha. Even many indigenous tribes of the Americas believe that physical ailments can stem from transgressions against societal norms, and recovering health comes through confessing misdeeds to a medicine man. While confession might not cure illness, it showcases the importance of facing our mistakes head-on. Support groups like Alcoholics Anonymous use confession and apology as integral steps in their 12-step recovery process, helping members to seek amends and personal growth. Therapy, another modern version of confession, provides an avenue for individuals to express their feelings and actions while working through their guilt and emotional baggage. Even seemingly small mistakes can strain relationships, but acknowledging our shortcomings and apologizing can foster healing and reconnection. 
apologizing, while difficult, helps to ease the burden of guilt and repair broken connections. Ultimately, we must find the courage to apologize for our wrongdoings and take responsibility for our actions. In doing so, we lighten our emotional burdens and strengthen bonds with others, leading to a more harmonious and supportive existence. Time, Anniversaries, and Traditions The passing of a year is significant for humans, as it connects us to the cyclical patterns that our brains are naturally drawn to, such as Earth's orbit around the Sun anniversaries serve as a reminder of our connection to something greater than ourselves, even commemorating the death of loved ones by lighting a Yarzite candle, a tradition that provides comfort. Another example of using candles as a marker for time is placing them on a birthday cake, a practice rooted in ancient Greece, related to the goddess Artemis. By celebrating birthdays and anniversaries of various kinds, we acknowledge our continued existence and the generations who came before us in shaping our lives. Anxiety begins to bubble within us as each year rolls around, bringing us once more to the spot we found ourselves 365 days before. The Earth's orbit connects us to this astronomical cycle, and it is fascinating because our brains are naturally drawn towards finding patterns. Astrology, for example, captivates thousands due to its connection to cosmic events and how they impact our lives. Anniversaries encompass both joy and sorrow. When we lose a loved one, we're left with a bittersweet sensation. The Yiddish tradition of lighting a Yarzite candle provides comfort by continuing that person's legacy through a small flame. A lingering light so similar to the glow of stars that we can still see even after they perish. Our journey around the sun also inspires joyous commemorations, such as birthdays and the age-old ritual of placing candles atop a cake. This tradition traces back to ancient Greece, when small torches were arranged in tribute to the goddess Artemis, who was believed to facilitate birth and ease suffering. Today, cakes adorned with candles serve as reminders of our beginnings and the lifelines we share across generations. The ebb and flow of time, with each passing year, prompts us to appreciate our ongoing experiences on this earth. Through it all, our existence is a precious gift, woven together by the lives of ancestors long gone. As we face the fluctuating seasons, let us take delight in the opportunities and challenges of crafting lasting memories, honoring those who came before us. The Essence of Wedding Traditions Wedding traditions, both ancient and modern, serve various purposes and reveal our love for honoring customs. From fertility-linked rituals to cultural and religious practices, these special moments in a couple's life often carry significance and sentiments. Embrace the traditions that resonate personally and feel free to mix and blend them to create meaningful memories on your special day. Weddings are filled with traditions that have been passed down from generation to generation, reflecting the cultural, historical, and religious backgrounds of the couple. Many of these practices have connections to fertility, a nod to marriage's long-standing role in providing a framework for family expansion. The showering of rice upon a newlywed couple is just one example, meant to bring good fortune in conceiving. In Muslim and Hungarian communities, eggs and wheat are used to symbolize fertility, while in Greek culture, placing a baby in the marriage bed can be seen as a gesture to enhance the chances of conception. However, not every tradition is centered around reproduction. A German custom sees the bride and groom sawing a log together, representing teamwork and cooperation in their new life. The practice of wearing a ring on the fourth finger can be traced back to an ancient belief that a vein in that finger connected directly to the heart. Thus, the presence of a ring signified that the individual's heart was committed to another. Weddings can also encompass a mix of various cultural traditions, as demonstrated by the diverse range of rituals in author Sasha Sagan's own marriage. From Jewish chuppas to Christian unity candles and even references from Plato's Symposium, her wedding drew inspiration from different sources, allowing her to incorporate her late father, scientist Carl Sagan, into the event by wrapping one of his necties around her bouquet and holding the ceremony in a location that displayed an art installation honoring his work. Ultimately, it is up to each couple to decide which traditions they wish to include in their wedding, blending the various customs and practices that hold personal and emotional significance on their journey together. Unraveling Sex and Social Norms 
Amidst society's shaming of sex, it's pivotal to remember that sex has been an essential and transformative force since the beginning of time. Our rituals and social conventions, like marriage and communal living, have evolved to either regulate or celebrate sex and its powerful effects on individuals and communities alike. Sex is an extraordinary force that has existed since the dawn of existence, shaping our lives, relationships, and social roles. Yet, in many cultures, it is burdened with shame and stigma. Why is sex, an act that releases stress, floods us with happiness, and connects us powerfully to others, so frowned upon? Its immense power to make even the most stable individuals dizzy with emotions and its potential dangers, such as disease, unintended pregnancies, or fatal childbirth, could be the reasons behind these taboos and social conventions. One common ritual is marriage, a tradition that has historically sanctioned sex between a couple and encouraged procreation. Even though societal beliefs on marriage have evolved, certain customs still remain, like the honeymoon. Originating from the 1500s, this tradition ensured newlyweds spent a secluded month losing their virginity, enjoying honey mead, and attempting to produce an heir. However, monogamy is not the exclusive structure that sanctions sex. Some societies, like the Oneida community in the 19th century New York, celebrated sex openly as a way to combat social injustice. Their belief against ownership or private property led to a communal lifestyle that fostered innovative inventions, such as lazy Susans and mousetraps. The Murya people in Chhattisgarh, India, also support a polygamous culture, encouraging teenagers to live in gotols, dorm-like spaces to explore sex before marriage while learning social rituals. In essence, sex's transformative power has been undeniable since the dawn of time, influencing how human societies form and function. By understanding the myriad ways sex has shaped our existences and relationships, we can move toward re-evaluating the stigma and embrace the vital role it plays in our lives. Embracing Death Through Rituals Recognizing that death plays an integral role in human existence has birthed rituals that enable us to process loss and honor the deceased. From burials and cremations to mummification and exhumation, these rituals span various cultures, serving as a connection to our shared humanity rather than a purely religious practice. By understanding and reinterpreting these traditional ceremonies, we can create personalized rituals that bring comfort, healing, and a sense of togetherness in times of loss. Death, an ever-present factor in human life, has spurred rituals such as burials, cremations, and even mummification in different societies since the beginning of humanity. For instance, in Tana Taraja, Indonesia, mummification is still practiced today, where the deceased are treated as sick instead of lifeless. Furthermore, in places like Vietnam and Madagascar, Exhumation is considered a compassionate custom that involves unearthing, cleaning, and reburying a loved one's remains. These rites not only reveal our shared humanity but also help us cope with the loss of a loved one. For example, in Jewish tradition, mirrors are covered during mourning to shield the bereaved from their own grief stricken appearance. Similarly, some Bulgarian communities commemorate the deceased by displaying posters with personal details on each anniversary of their passing, encouraging communal mourning and remembrance. As life-affirming as they are comforting, our rituals surrounding death remind us of the fleeting nature of life and the importance of appreciating the present. While we may eventually fade from the memories of future generations, our experiences are still significant and contribute to the remarkable tapestry of life on Earth both in its highs and lows. These time-tested rituals serve as a beacon amidst turbulent life events and forge a bond among people, regardless of cultural or religious affiliations. By understanding the significance of these practices and adapting them to suit our individual beliefs, we can create unique, personal rituals that provide solace, healing, and connection during the trials of loss. Throughout, for small creatures such as we, Sagan proves that one does not need to belong to a specific culture or religion in order to appreciate and benefit from the healing power and significance of rituals. As humans, our shared experiences of birth, life, love, and death can bring us together, transcending our differences. By reinterpreting existing traditions and creating our own unique rituals, 
we can celebrate the milestones in our lives and of those we love. Sagan's book leaves us not only with a deeper understanding of humankind's interconnectedness, but also with a new appreciation for the wonders and fleeting beauty of our life on Earth.